Hey y'all, Vixen here and welcome back to another video. So I did this look at work a few days ago and it was cute, but I wanted to see what I could do if I had time to do a full face instead. I did my brows and cleaned them up with some concealer before jumping right into the look. After priming my eyes, I used a metallic blue shadow on my mobile lids applying it with my fingers because it worked best that way to get the most um, payoff. I blurred the edges so that adding the next shadows would be easier to blend. And if I lost some of the pigmentation, I just added more of the previous shadow. I have no idea where my footage for this next part is, but I did add a matte purple shadow around the edges and then layered a pink matte shadow on top of that. I went back and forth between the pink and purple until I found a blend that I really liked. And then I layered a duochrome eyeshadow where the blue and purple shadows met blending it out around my eyes with my fingers and a brush. This was mostly so I could see how far I wanted to drag the color out, but you could also just wait until you add your foundation to do this part. Once I had a general idea of where I would be stopping the color, I cleaned up the excess shadow and then I did my foundation. I wasn't going anywhere, so I didn't do my full routine, but you can still see that in the linked cards in the upper right hand corner. I used a small beauty sponge and my shadow brush to blend the edges of my makeup each time I re-added one of the colors that I used on my eyes. This was a lot of back and forth, but it was worth it because everything faded out really nicely. I added a light blue reflective shadow on the center of my mobile lid to add some dimension and shape to my eyes. And then I went on to adding the stars. I used a white water activated liner to do this and I just added dots in varying sizes to simulate stars that were closer and farther away. I also did a few sparkles just so it looked more interesting. There wasn't a pattern to this and I didn't try to make the eyes look um, exactly the same. I did however try to make them balanced so that one eye didn't look heavier per se with the stars. I added my lashes off camera and applied some mascara before also adding black eye pencil to my waterline. And it was about this time I think that I decided to add the blue eyeshadow along with the pink and purple to my bottom lash as well. I redid any of the stars that I might have blended away after adding the shadows to my bottom lash line and then I went ahead and just added more around my entire eye.
once I was happy with that, I added rhinestones. I just used some glitter adhesive to apply them. If you want them to stay longer, you can just use lash glue. Again, I wasn't going anywhere, so I just used what I had near me. I used them in about two or three different sizes, again, so it would look like they were farther and closer apart. Once I was done with that, I used two highlighters, a blue one and a bluish purple. They both gave me some like galactic, galactic, <laughs> galactic vibes, kind of what I was going for with this look. So I layered them over my brow bone, cheekbones, forehead, nose bridge, tip of my nose, and I think my cupid's bow. For lips, I ended up concealing my natural color and going over that with a dark berry gloss. I focused that in the center of my lips and then went over everything with a sheer one with gold glitter in it. I layered it up a bit until I was happy with how everything was fading out. And here is the final look. I really like this, especially the lip. And I hope you all do too. I'm really satisfied with how it came out. And I kind of wish that I could have captured the sparkle but uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.